The holidays are here, and if you have a family, friend, or loved one who's into creepy stuff as much as you are, then you have to get them into the Deadbolt Mystery Society. I'm a huge fan of the Deadbolt Mystery Society, so I couldn't be happier to have them as our sponsor. Their boxes will have you playing the role of detective as you track down missing persons, crack the case on an unidentified body, or are hunting down a serial killer before it's too late. Right now, I'm knee-deep in solving their box simply titled Duel. This one has me tracking down a sinister group that calls themselves The Scourge, who are planning on having two of their members partake in a twisted contest that has them murdering six people. Inside the box are all sorts of clues and pieces of evidence. One of the best things about these boxes are the QR codes you scan that show you additional videos, audio recordings, evidence, and photos. The reviews are in from people all around the world, and the Deadbolt Mystery Society has 4.9 out of 5 stars, according to over 260 independent reviews. Right now, they're offering 20% off your order when you use the code DEADBOLT20. So go to DeadboltMysterySociety.com and use the code DEADBOLT20 to get 20% off and become part of the Deadbolt Mystery Society today. Scary Mysteries, Twisted News, 300 Million Earths, and Michelle Martinko. Terrifying cases of true crime and strange events. Every week, Twisted News dives into two mysterious and scary cases currently happening in our world. This week, we'll dive into the mystery of the vastness of our universe and the latest developments in the case of Michelle Martinko. Get ready for Scary Mysteries, Twisted News. Number 1. 300 Million Earths Perhaps one of the greatest questions that humankind has ever asked is, are we alone in the universe? Considering how large it actually is, it seems unlikely, and now the science seems to back that up. Conservatively, it's estimated that there are 100,000 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy alone, Many of these stars are very similar to the size of our sun. Add to the fact that there are millions upon millions of galaxies beyond ours, and the chances of finding planet systems where life could flourish, and even perhaps discovering beings just like ourselves are astronomically high. The most recent report on this matter came through this month, which said that there are now at least 300 million habitable planets in the Milky Way. The new research from NASA indicates that half of all the stars in our galaxy have similar temperatures as our sun, and at least one third of these stars, and possibly up to 90% of them, have rocks, much like Earth, orbiting in what is known as the habitable zone. These worlds have the capacity to retain liquid water on their surface, an element we know is needed for life to thrive. These figures, according to NASA, are just rough estimates, by the way, but they're also on the conservative side, meaning there could still be many more out there. Using NASA's Kepler Space Telescope, it is also determined that there are at least a handful of these potential planets that could be considered our interstellar neighbors. The closest among them is around 20 light years away, a fact that is somewhat disheartening because based on Einstein's theories, it would be impossible for humans to travel at the speed of light or anywhere close to it. This means that with our current technology, it could take us at least a few hundred years to reach these habitable planets. Detecting these Earth-like planets, called exoplanets, is not easy as well. It took the U.S. Space Agency's Kepler Space Telescope nine years to fully sweep the observable part of our universe. The data was then poured over by scientists and astronomers from around the world, and a lot of factors were considered to determine if a planet could support life. For example, the age and temperature of an exoplanet's parent star should be similar to our own sun, which is neither too old nor too hot. Another thing to consider is the planet's distance from its star. 
too close and the heat could vaporize water on its surface, and if it's too far, the water could freeze. To add more excitement to these latest developments, the study also looked into not just Earth-like planets for ET life, but habitable moons as well. Titan and Europa, the moons of Jupiter, suggest that not only planets are habitable. With this data, one can't help but wonder if there really are any others like us out there. Perhaps yes, with that many Earth-like planets, life could have existed and evolved to become as advanced as ours. It's also possible that they haven't been around long enough to reach our level of intelligence, and on the other hand, Maybe they have evolved well past anything that we can even imagine. Number 2. Michelle Martinko The murder of a family member is without a doubt one of the worst things a person can experience. And it can be made even harder if the justice they fight to seek never comes. Close to the 40th anniversary of the death of Michelle Martinko, Family and friends gathered at her grave to mourn for her untimely passing. It's been decades, and still, their hope clings to the fact that someday they may know for sure the ones responsible, and why. Back in 1979, Michelle Martinko was a high school senior from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Family and friends described her as a sweet and kind person. Her parents, at least, thought of her as a very religious girl who always strived to be good to everyone. She was a member of her high school choir, took karate class, and did well in school. A few days before Christmas that year, the 18-year-old was at the Westdale Mall shopping for a new winter coat. She had just attended a party at her school and was driving her family's 1972 Buick Electra when she arrived at the mall around 7 p.m. Michelle's parents got concerned when, at around midnight, their daughter still hadn't returned home. Two hours later, they called police to report her missing, and two hours after that, the most dreadful news a parent could ever hear came through. Authorities found the Buick parked in the northeast section of the Westdale Mall parking lot. Inside, they discovered the blonde girl, collapsed over the passenger seat and lifeless. Police records stated that she had been brutally stabbed. Her body was literally riddled with stab wounds, 29 of them on her face, neck, and chest. The autopsy also revealed some defensive wounds found on her hand, suggesting that she fought back furiously against her killer. Judging from the lack of blood trails outside of the car, it was surmised that the teen was murdered while sitting inside the vehicle. The perpetrator apparently coming up to the car, viciously attacking her before fleeing. She was found fully dressed. $180 was still inside her purse. Judging from the number and location of the stab wounds, the killing was likely to be personal in nature. But at the time, there was no evidence or leads to go on, and while they tried, police eventually had to let the case sit on the back burner. And there it sat for more than 30 years until some new forensic technology arrived. In October of 2006, Cedar Rapids police submitted a DNA profile from the crime to the National Combined DNA Index System, known as CODIS. The DNA was taken from a separate blood sample found at the scene of the crime, it was believed to be from a cut on the killer's hand. Unfortunately, the scope of CODIS at that time wasn't that expansive yet. As such, it didn't produce any match among the known felons in the system. Suspects were DNA tested, but none matched as well. Michelle's ex-boyfriend, who was initially believed to be involved, was exonerated in this process. Authorities didn't lose hope, with the DNA in hand in 2018, they entered it into GED Match, a public genealogy website that has proven to be useful in solving other cold cases. One match was found. The person, a woman by the name of Brandy Jennings of Vancouver, Washington, shared DNA markers with the suspect in Michelle's murder. 
Through meticulous tracking, authorities were able to narrow down the identity of the perpetrator to a certain Jerry Burns. Burns happens to be the second cousin of Jennings. On December 19, 2018, on the 39th anniversary of the murder, Burns was arrested for the killing of Michelle Martinko. Born and raised in Manchester, Iowa, the now 66-year-old was nabbed by the police at his powder coating business establishment in the city. He maintained that he didn't know any Martinko and said he wasn't there when she died. Investigators were quick to point out that Burns did not specifically deny killing the victim. Moreover, the accused was not able to explain why his DNA was present at the crime scene. During the interrogation, he was asked if he killed someone on the night of December 19, 1979. He only replied with this statement over and over again, test the DNA. His murder trial began on February 12, 2020, and on February 24, the court found Burns guilty due to the DNA evidence and sentenced him to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Throughout the entire duration of the trial, the man reportedly showed no emotion. He did give a short statement whereby he once again maintained his innocence, and so we may never know the motive behind the senseless act. Unfortunately, Michelle's parents, Albert and Janet, have long since passed away before justice could ever be served. Her father died in 1995, while her mother followed soon after in 98. The teenager's siblings said that their parents were overcome with intense grief from the loss. Meanwhile, the rest of the surviving family members couldn't be more thankful to the Cedar Rapids police as well as the rest of the law enforcement for not giving up on their mission to find the perpetrator, even if it took them 40 years to do so. So there were two of the most eerie and disturbing stories around. The world can be a crazy place and Twisted News is sure to show you why. If you like this video, then please subscribe because every week we're putting out new mysterious videos for you to check out. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you soon.